In his Blue Beam Project lectures, Serge Monis describes how the University of Arizona hosted in January 1991 a conference with the title, The NATO Advanced Research Workshop on Current and Emergent Phenomena and Biomolecular Systems. Their findings stated that the U.S. already developed communications equipment to make the blind see, the deaf hear, and the lame walk, depending upon a completely new way of looking at the human brain, neuromuscular systems, and radiation pulses, at ultra-low frequencies. This equipment already has been operated by the CIA and the FBI, but obviously not to make the blind see, the deaf hear, or the lame walk. It's being used to torture and murder citizens, who belong to organizations, which promote tolerance, peace and development in Central America, or which oppose the development and deployment of nuclear weapons. It's being used to create a race of slave automatons, and so-called Manchurian candidates. Human experimentation is taking place on hostages, held by the United States and Canada, Great Britain, Australia, Germany, Finland, and France. James C. Lynn published in 1978 a book, titled, Microwave Auditory Effect, an application, describing how audible voices can be broadcasted directly into the brain. This mind control technology includes a transmitter, that broadcasts at the same frequency as the human nervous system. The device is manufactured, by a major defense contractor, the Laurel Electro-Optical System in Pasadena, California. Laurel has previously conducted research for Lt. Gen. Leonard Perez of the U.S. Air Force, who is searching for a weapon that could implant messages into the minds of the enemy, while urging his own troops on to superhuman deeds of valor. The weapon employed electromagnetic radiation of gigahertz frequencies, also known as microwaves, pulsed at extremely low frequencies. This weapon was, and is used, to torture people from a distance, both physically and mentally. It can broadcast audible signals, directly into the auditory nerve of an individual. The process is described in various U.S. defense publications, such as the Electromagnetic Spectrum and Low Intensity Conflict, by Captain Paul E. Tyler, included in a collection entitled, Low Intensity Conflict and Modern Technology Edict, by USAF Lieutenant Colonel David G. Dean. The collection was published in 1986 by the Air University Press, of Maxwell Air Force Base, Alabama. The pulse microwave technology, which can deliver audible signals directly into the head of a person, is very simple, and can be built, by using an ordinary police radar gun. In his book, The Body Electric, Dr. Robert O. Becker describes a series of experiments in the early 60s, conducted by Alan Free, and in 1973, at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, by Dr. Joseph C. Sharp. He did some tests, in which he proved, that he could hear and understand messages, delivered to him in an echo-free isolation chamber, via a pulse microwave audiogram, which was an analog of the words sound vibrations, beamed into his brain. Becker stated, such a device has obvious applications for covert operations, designed to drive a target crazy with unknown voices, or to deliver undetectable instructions, to a programmed assassin. Alan Free also reported he could speed up, slow down, or stop the hearts of frogs, by synchronizing the pulsed rate of a microwave beam with the heart itself, which shows that it's technically feasible to produce heart attacks, as happened to Serge Monist. Ultra-high frequency electromagnetic energy beams, can induce agitation and muscular activity, or weakness. They can burn the human skin, aid the effect of drugs, bacteria and poisons, or affect the brain. This was revealed by the CIA in a 1977 testimony of Dr. Sidney Gottlieb, who directed at that time the MKUltra program. 